this right here is connected to an air compressor and it fills this whole system with air. And the air goes up to 5 psi. How do you know when there's a leak? Well, once it hits 5 psi, I'll take this off and I'll let it sit for about 20 minutes to a half hour. We'll go back and check it and if it's dropped, it will uh, tell us that there's a leak somewhere. We're going to go back out to our addition on Lakewood Road and see if we can get a little more interesting content today for the framing process. What do you think, Louie? We'll see. They're framing, so it's going to be somewhat interesting. What are you eating there? They're kind. I'm getting them all over, so. Not, too, be, not being too kind to my car, huh? Yeah. Oh, well. We'll get it next time. All right, we just arrived on site at our audition. We're gonna be framing today. It looks like the guys already got a wall up, so we're gonna head back there and see where they're at. We're going safety first today. Got the hard hat, high vis. I even got my steel toe boots on today. Still gotta keep it safe. So as you can see, the crew's made some great progress today already. We got a warm, sunny day. Finally, some, some warmer weather here. You can feel spring in the air. And they've got all the walls up except this last one here. They're just laying that out and gonna put that one up. We have six and we need seven. Where you guys at right now? Looks like you got a few walls up. Yeah. And you're laying laying this is these our plates last out. Wall. And as you can see, we got all those stood. But really good this morning. It's making some these, good progress. These boys are killing it. <laughs> good. You got the walls up. Yep, walls are what up, now? framed. So now we gotta straighten them, we gotta plumb them. You know, get everything level, make sure everything's sitting pretty. And then we can sheet the whole exterior, lock it all in. You guys are gonna do that before you put the trusses on? Yeah, we'll do that before we get our roof on. And then we will double top plate, lay out for our trusses. And then we'll, yeah, so tomorrow morning, I think we'll be swinging those trusses with the old wool. All right. Look forward to that. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting us peek in. Yep, no problem. Nice work. Do you get some good drone shots? Yeah, there's some good ones in there. Not a ton, but some good ones. All right, so I just talked to TJ, and he said that they're building a deck. So we're going to go stop through the North Shore remodel. I got to get a shot of this lake. So here's our deck going off on the side of the home here. If you remember, this is an old garage. Uh, we added a pretty nice size addition here off to the back. Gonna remodel the garage area into a home. Hey, TJ. What? <laughs> you gotta give me a better prop than hey TJ. Hey TJ, tell me about your philosophy of life. <laughs> Slip that flashing up there. Okay, I'll go up there and show you how. We need some roofing nails. See, he doesn't just sit around and bark orders. He actually does stuff. Yeah, just want make a work platform for the guys so they don't fall through my stuff when I get in trouble. It's paperwork. And it's What's up, Tanner? Yeah, 
So what are you guys up to right now? Uh, I just finished all the pinning and all the duct work. Just got all the duct work done, Tanner was saying. Oh, little Leo is here. I don't know I don't know if I've ever seen you without Marlon. How's it been having Tanner join the crew? It's awesome. You guys getting along okay? Yeah. We're just getting ready to do this on pressure test. Pressure test? Yeah. What, what do you mean by that? Fill with five PSI. Fill this with air. All this bad thing and out the drains. You can see we have it plugged right there. We fill it up with air up to five PSI to test for leaks. Oh, okay. Then we close the air and hold it for 20 minutes. See if anything's leaks in. If something does, it's leaking. If it holds, it's fine. So this will. This right here is connected to an air compressor and it fills this whole system with air. And the air goes up to 5 psi. And that's that'll... enough to tell us if there's any leaks. Yeah, that'll tell us if there's any leaks. How do you know when there's a leak? Well, once it hits 5 psi, we'll take this off and then we'll let it sit for about 20 minutes to a half hour. We'll go back and check it and if it's dropped, it will uh, tell us that there's a leak somewhere. And if it does that, the first thing we do is we go around and check all these fittings first, make sure they're they're all nice and not have any gaps or holes in them. And then if that's not it, then we go around and start spraying joints with bubble spray, and see if anything's leaking. Are there usually leaks, or? Uh, it depends. Kind of like 50-50. Yeah. If you get enough glue and primer in there, there's usually no leaks. And usually what leaks is these or in here we we have our main clean out. And uh, there's a balloon in here that's filled up with air. And most of the time it's this that leaks. So you just readjust it and refill it up. And most of the time it's good. Alright guys, well that's it for the week. I'm back at the office and heading home for the weekend. It was a little bit of a slow week this week. Not a ton going on around the job site. It's kind of a lot of uh, in-between stuff. Um, at least not anything super intensive. So we're hoping to get back on the job site next week and get back at it. So tune in. See you then. Bye.